Hey guys, Waterfaller41 here, and in today's video, we are working on my wife's 2021 Hyundai Palisade. So the Palisade has become our go-to for road trips. So long weekends, trips up to lake house, hockey tournaments, this is the car we're using. You can fit a ton of luggage in it, it's good on gas, and it is a really comfortable car to drive. And now that they have the stereo upgrade, it's a really comfortable car to just be in for a long time. That said, one thing I wanted to do before the car gets too old and too torn up for my kids and my dog is I wanted to make sure that we address the cargo area. So what I want to do is add a layer of protection to the rear cargo area of the truck so when we're sliding coolers in and out, we're not tearing up the inside of the truck, we're not tearing up the inside carpet. We have, like I said, a layer of protection there. So a while back, I saw my friend had a Grand Cherokee and he installed this product called Canvas Back. So Canvas Back, that's what this is right here, is a cargo liner that basically Velcros to your factory carpet liner and it protects the carpeted areas of the rear of your truck. So this is the canvas back cover that we have. So we, we purchased it in snow camo. You could get it in plaid, you can get it in solid colors. We like the snow camo because in the event you do have any sort of stains on the camo area, it's really hard to see it on this or when our dog's hair is on it, it's gonna be harder to see it on the camo. It's gonna look kind of cleaner than it would be on a solid color. So. That's why I was kind of steering my kids towards one of the camo patterns. They also have, I believe, a Realtree Max 4 or some sort of duck blind camo, which is pretty sweet, but we couldn't get my wife's buying on that one, but she did agree to the snow camo. What this cargo liner is going to do is it's going to cover the captain seats, it's going to cover the third row seats, as well as the rear cargo area. And why I like this over just having the factory Palisade cargo liner is I hate carpet cargo areas i don't know why they still put these in cars i would be happy like those old envoys that had the plastic area in the back because it really makes a ton of sense to make sure that whatever you put in the back of the cargo area it doesn't attract dog hair or it doesn't attract a lot of like these little particulate fur grass whatever weeds whatever gets stuck on stuff that you're putting in the back of the truck it just gets entangled in the carpet it's like velcro basically so we are going to remove the factory palisade cargo liner and then we're going to replace it with the canvas one back one and really it's super easy to install this up this basically just velcros around the edges of everything after you velcro and install it you just want to make sure that everything functions as it should it still gives you access to all your pull cords and your uh, child seat restraint clips and anchor points so it's perfect for trying to protect the rear of your SUV so let me get everything situated and what we'll do is we'll start on the two seats in the front because those are their own pieces let's see here so the front seats are going to be their own pieces and then the cargo area with the third seat is a solid piece and then what we also went ahead and picked up is a bib in essence so basically an apron that's going to drape down over the bumper so when my kids are pulling their hockey bags out of the car and they're short so it's going to hit the bumper eventually there is no protection on this and whatever protection they sell in the market right now Kind of horrible it really doesn't do a good job so i figure why not just get that apron it's removable if it ever gets in the way but if they're pulling their bags out it'll at least protect that when they're dropping their bags on the bumper so we're not going to damage the bumper or damage any of the paint so let's start on the seats up there and i will show you step by step how to install this bad boy in the palisade all right the first step should be kind of an obvious one but we're going to go ahead and take our rubber comb and just basically get all the dog hair what's left of it i spent the last hour or so trying to get the dog hair off it but i will leave a link to this guy in the description this is by far one of the best products for removing dog hair from this really tight um tight tightly woven carpet area so once we get everything cleaned up because again we want a clean area for this stuff to stick to toss that to the side and then we're going to look for the correct liner so these liners are side specific and by that I mean there is a notch cut out and that notch is going to line up with the outside of the seat. So this is going to be our passenger side rear one and this is going to be our driver's side one. So there is the hard side of the velcro is on the cover itself and it basically just sticks right to your factory carpet. So what we're going to do is just line it up nicely. So what we'll do is we'll line it up with with the anchor point for the car seat, that way we know it's centered. And then from there, we'll just basically realign everything. And it's as simple as that. There you go. So super simple. This Velcro is right to the back of the seat, nice and taut. And again, it gives you kind of a slicker surface. 
So stuff's not gonna get stuck in the carpet like it would with your factory carpet. So it's very easy to clean the stuff off, wipe it off. It's relatively waterproof. So if you do spill anything on it, if you get to it quickly enough, like when you have kids, you can wipe it right off there. So we typically keep a microfiber in the car just in case we do spill anything. But this gives us a little bit more time to get to it and so it doesn't soak into the, uh, the actual seats themselves. All right, so let's go ahead and do the other side and then we'll work on removing that factory palisade rear seat cover so then we can install our canvas back on top of that. All right, so now that we have the front two captain seats done, I went ahead and took the straps for the third row seats, folded those up so they're up and out of the way. And really all we're gonna do is just basically pull this guy out. Now I don't know if all palisades come with this guy, uh, but this is the cargo liner that comes from Hyundai themselves. It is carpeted, it makes, abs like I said, it makes no sense. Really, I wish every car came with the cargo liner in the same material that the canvas back does because that would make cleaning and keeping everything nice and um, looking new, I guess, in the rear of the truck much better. So I need two hands to pull this out, but it's super simple, no tools needed. You just basically pull this guy up and we're gonna yank the Velcro off and get this guy up and out of the way. And now we're just gonna go ahead and replace him with our canvas back, but let's get this one out first. All right, so now that we have the factory cargo liner removed, I went ahead and vacuumed everything out. So regardless of the fact that there was a cargo liner there, there was still a ton of dog hair underneath there. That's what happens when you own a lab. Literally dog hair will get everywhere. Again, another reason why this is the go-to product here. Anyway, so now that everything is vacuumed, cleaned up, and we're ready to install the canvas liner, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start on the seats because we have these anchor points for the car seats. If we line those up, everything else should basically fall in line and fall together because I wanna make sure I can still get access to those. So every so often we have our nieces in the car and we need those rear car seat anchors. My kids are old enough that they're out of that. But again, just wanna make sure that everything is still accessible at the end of the day. So we'll get the camera set up and we're gonna start on the seats themselves and then we'll move, move, work our way to the rear of the truck. And then from there, we'll go ahead and install that apron and then we are good to go. All right, now that we have everything cleaned up, we're gonna go ahead and start with the installation. So we gotta figure out which orientation everything is gonna go on. So we see the canvas back logo, that's gonna go towards the rear. And I said we're gonna start on these guys. And since this stuff is Velcro, it's gonna to wanna to stick to pretty much everything. So you might need to re-Velcro and Velcro it a few times just to get everything lined up. But we're gonna start with the top here, knock that out, and take a few times to get everything lined up, especially since again, this Velcro is gonna grab everything it wants to. All right, let's go to the other side and do that. Okay, we're just about there. So there's gonna be some final little minor adjustments, but everything is installed on the captain seats, the, sec the third row seats, and now we just gotta do the cargo area. Again, two hands is gonna be required to do this, but super, super simple. It's literally, if you could Velcro something, you can install this guy. So what we're gonna do is basically line up the corners here. So what we're gonna do is basically line up the corners here and then just basically wrap that canvas back around the rear of the cargo area and then we are good to go. And we'll make some finer, final adjustments here. I wanna make sure I stretch out and everything has uh, good, solid, consistent coverage across the board here. So let's get the rear area installed here and then we'll start making some final adjustments. All right, I'm not gonna lie, this might be my favorite upgrade I've ever done to any one of my wife's vehicles, let alone the Palisade. So everything is completely installed on the cargo area. You have access to all of the pull cords you need. So you got the pull cord here for the car, for the uh, spare tire equipment and the car jack. You have the pull cords for the seats to fold them back up and then everything fits nicely. So the liner itself basically fits all around the edge of the carpet, leaving literally zero carpet exposed. And if you have a lab or a German Shepherd or any dog that sheds like crazy, you know that any carpet that's exposed is gonna get dog hair on it. And this stuff is super slick, so it'll be really easy to vacuum dog hair off of here once it does eventually get on there. So next thing we're gonna do, just to finish it up, is throw on that little apron here. So it's basically a bumper guard. So it's a flap that Velcros right here to the edge and then it hangs down over the tailgate. No, you cannot drive with that hanging down and close your tailgate. You have to fold it up. But the reason we went with that is A, it's removable. So if you don't wanna use it, you can take it off. And B, when my kids are pulling their hockey bags out because they're shorter, they're gonna bang this bumper. And if we have a piece of fabric there protecting it, it's gonna be perfect and stop the bumper from getting chipped up. Because really anything else on the market right now doesn't come close to providing any sort of quality protection. It's really just a sticker and it's, it's for looks. So 
this little canvas back uh, apron here or the bumper guard is going to be super slick and really give us the protection that we need during hockey season. So let's get that guy installed. All right, the bumper guard is installed, and this is literally what it is there to do. Basically drape over the rear of the bumper so that when you're dragging a bunch of crap in and out of the back of the car or even sitting on the bumper when you're tailgating, you're not going to scratch a very scratch-prone area, which is basically that prevailing edge of the bumper. So instead of investing in a ton of touch-up paint, we have a bumper guard here that's attached to our canvas back that's going to give us the protection we need. So when you are done with using it, all you got to do... Take that bad boy, fold it up in there, or pull it off completely, and then you can shut your tailgate, and then everything works perfectly fine. So let's take this for a little bit of a canvas back test drive. So let me go get my, my actor and see how he likes it. All right, so we have our co-pilot in there. Let's go ahead and see how he likes everything. Let's pop the tailgate. My man, Remdog. So this is my sit. This is my geriatric puppy nine months or nine years young but this is remy and this is why we picked up the canvas back interior so he's a 90 pound lab who sheds like it's his job he's got two jobs in life one love our family which he does very well and two um shed and he's very good at both of those things so this canvas back cover was for him but anyway between the hockey bags and the dog now we have tons of protection in the rear with the canvas back liner so with that said, that is how we install the canvas back liner in the Hyundai Palisade while we watch Remy run around the back of the truck. Come here, come here. While we watch Remy run around the back of the truck. What do you think, you like it? You like it? All right. So with that said, that's how you install the canvas back liner in the Hyundai Palisade. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, bye. Say bye.